Hey all, Will Healy here. And uh, today I wanna to talk about industrial automation connectors. You know, there are so many different types of industrial automation connectors. It can be really overwhelming to someone who's new. You know, how do I select the right one? Why did a certain cord set fail in an application? Uh, cables and connectors are really overwhelming uh, when, you, when you really try to dive in and pick just one part number. So um, I'm starting an automation basic series that's gonna dive into connectors and all the different things and choices that, that go into it. Today, I just want to talk about what's in a connector and the things you have to think about. So when you have an automation cable uh, that's connecting like a sensor to an IO block or a sensor to a PLC, you have to think about what's connecting on end one. So I usually talk about the device or the sensor or the, the valve or whatever we're connecting to. The, the head one, what, what kind of connector do I need on that end? Then what's it connecting to? What's the IO? What's the nervous system of the machine? Uh, what's it connecting to on the other side? Then we have to think about electrically, what's important inside out of here how many conductors and shielded or not shielded we have to kind of think about what uh, electrically is important about the cable then we have to think about the outer jacket what environments ex is it exposed to like welding or or wash down chemicals and food and beverage so the jacket of the cable is it going to be flexed or, or standing still all of that has to kind of be figured out and then last but not least the length of the cable matters a lot right you have the length of the cable and so how do we decide and pick the length of the cable so in this series of videos we're going to talk about all those different pieces and parts that go into picking a good automation cable. So until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?